Hello and welcome to today's second edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Now, my name's Professor Plum, and I think you've been watching my uh, my friend, the Reverend Green, solving a puzzle earlier today, he says. Now, I don't know what he's uncovered. Frankly, Green has some very crackpot theories, so I wouldn't put too much credence in what he says. And he's not the only one. I'm going to have a go at this crime scene puzzle. Now, just before I do that, I believe the ARG is coming to an end soon, whatever that is. And I believe that people have been working incredibly hard on that. So I hope everybody can play fair on this last day and just get to the solution. Good luck. Now, this puzzle has been sent in by James Cop, And frankly, it's not a puzzle as much as a reconstruction of a crime scene. And what James says is that the Sudoku shows a crime scene on the yellow, green and white tiles lies a dagger and the splattering of blood. Some blood has been removed by the murderer before he fled the area. Help Detective Kropke hmm, uncover the method of the murder and the perpetrator of the crime. On the green tiles, the blood, splatter, the blood splatter can be read as Morse code to reveal the murder weapon. Black circles represent dashes and white circles represent dots. Solve the Sudoku and then insert the missing black and white circles on the yellow tiles to reveal the criminal's identity using Morse code. Only circles between horizontally adjacent green cells or horizontally adjacent yellow cells are used for the Morse code. Ah, now here are the rules for the puzzle. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Numbers increase from the bulb end of the thermometer. I think there's only one, so thermometers is not quite right. Cells separated by a white circle are consecutive, and cells separated by a black circle are in the ratio 1 to 2. Well, that's crop key Sudoku, although there's clearly no negative constraint in this, so we don't have to assume that cells not separated by dots can't have them. Indeed, I think we can assume, since it said the missing dots on yellow cells, that all the yellow cells should have dots on them. So we can assume that between those two and between those two, there's a dot of some color, for instance. So I think that's fair enough. Now, do have a go at this on the link below the video. See if you can crack this crime, how it was done and who perpetrated it. But I'm going to have a go now. So let's get cracking. Well, I see that we've been given all the green cells, all the green Morse code. And I don't know if it's going to be enough for me. I did a course once when I was a naval cadet on Morse code. Actually, I, the one I remember the mnemonic for is um, da dit da, which we were taught to as khaki car for the letter K. So that's a K. Now, dash dot is either A or N, dot dot, I think that's I, dot dot dash dot, that's one of the more unusual letters once it's got four in, although L somehow has four items. Ah, single dot, that's E. Okay, so I think we're looking at a knife, that makes sense. Now I think this is the dagger, this thermo, that was mentioned in the, uh, in the text. A knife is the murder weapon, hence all the blood splatter, I'm sure. Um, but we don't on obviously know who the murderer is. So, how are we going to solve this crop key puzzle? No givens in the grid. Ah, the, the thermo, is that useful? Well, given that we know there's dots between them, mm, still not very useful. Ah, okay, three black dots in the top row. So that's going to use up all the possible black dot digits, which are one, two, three, four, six, and eight. Now, better than that, it's going to use them in the pairs. Three and six must be one of them. One and two must be another, and four and eight must be another. That must be how it uses them. The other three cells will be five, seven, and nine. So this one on the end must be four, six, or eight. Uh, which goes with either 2 or 8, 3 or 4. Oh, that's not so helpful. Ah, and these two are joined. Um, right, so this can't be 3, 6, I don't think, because you cannot join 
two of the cells in 1, 2 and 4, 8 with a white dot. Because one of them's 1, 2 and one of them's 4, 8. 4 can't join onto 2 or 1, nor can 8. Right, so that's not 3, 6. So 3, 6 is over here. And the 3 must be the digit that's on the white dot. So 3 is not on the outside. 6 is not on the inside. 3 can join to 2 or 4. Ah, so it's either, so, yes, yeah, so two or four are on the inside, and either one or eight on the outside, because, or six, sorry, one of them in fact is a six, because that's the bit that doesn't connect via the white dot. Now, one, two, three, six, either way around is possible, or... 8, 4, 3, 6. Okay, so we don't know that. But now this is either 4 or 8, and that always goes 8 and 4 are a pair. Can that not be 2 if I... Yes, that can't be 2 because that's 5, 7 or 9. So this is the 4, 8 pair. We can get rid of 4s and 8s here, and we know that this is a 1, 2, 3, 6 combo in some, or either that way round or that way round. Okay, well that's an interesting start. Now, this thermo is more restricted. Four, five, six, or seven there. Five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine there. And these have to be joined, don't they, by a dot. So it's got to be a white dot here. That has to be, but here it could be eight, four. Um, and it could, of course, be a sequence of three. Okay, that doesn't help as much as I'd hoped. Um, don't know about that. Right, we've got two black dots down here connected. So the middle one's always two or four in, when they're in the same box. But the outside could be any of one, two, four, or eight, couldn't it? I think it could. Um, ah, but then there's these three connected. So, if this involved an eight, and it was eight, four, two, these would have to be five, six, seven. They're the only ones you could fit in. If, however, this is one, two, four, well, it's still going to involve seven. It's either five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. Ah, but there's a black dot at the end. So the possibilities are five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. But this one is connected by a division of two. So that is six or eight, must be, with this three or four. Seven has to be in this run, so it's in the middle, and the other one must be the other out of six or eight. So this is not an eight, this is a one, two, four, with a two in the middle, one on the one and four flanking it. This number that connects to one or four is three or five, and in fact that makes that the four. And that's the one. And that fixes this six up at the top, that's beautiful. Six, three, two, one there. That's all done. Um, right, this can't, oh, we can't have a six in this at all. And that can't be a seven. Um, ah, three up there has fixed this bottom cell. Five, and in fact, the six in column one has fixed that as an eight. So that's six, that's three, this is two or four. Uh, what have we got here? Three and nine as a pair. Has Yes, this can't be eight. Oh, it's still not resolved. Okay, but these have to have a circle between them, a dot. So they must be nine, eight. That can't be five. Perfect. This now can't be five, but it could actually be four or seven. If it was four, that would have to be two. If it was seven, that would have to be six. I think they're the only possibilities there. Six, three, two, nine, eight. Right. Um, this one in this column, one, two, or six, can't be nine as it's on the dot.
but it can't be 1 because this would need to be a 2. So it's 2 or 6, making this 3, not 3, because there's a 3 in one of those cells. So that's not 6, it's 2. And 1 or 4 there. I don't think we can separate those. This is a naked single. Yes, it's a 1. 3, 8, 2, 7, 4, 5 in the column, 6, 9, 3 in the box, um, 3, 1, 8, 6, and 9 as a pair there, 4, 5, and 7. Now, this one cannot be 5 or 7 because it's on a black dot. Perfect. So 4 there, 2 or 8 there, can't be sure which. That's, that's fixed that as a 7, and this is a 5, and the box 1 is done. 3, 4, 7, triple there, so this is a 1. 8 and 5 to go in there. No negative constraints, so we don't know about that. Uh, this, after a 2, would have to be a 1 or a 3, but after an 8 could be a 7 or a 9. Oh, so lots of progress at once, and then a complete stall. Now, what's this pair? It's either 1, 2, or 4, 5. Is it? Yes. So 9 is in one of these cells, but with whatever isn't used by those. Hmm, that's not that helpful. What about this group here? Uh, sorry, I was actually spending time looking at that one, which must have either a 6 or an 8 on it, but that's, again, not sorting anything out. But this group... Okay, what if that was a 9? Where would 3 go in the row? It would have to be in those cells. Okay, maybe the question is, what if that was a 3 and these didn't involve a 3? Is that possible? Now, they'd have to be, because this is a pair of consecutive numbers and 1, 5, 3 would be gone in the row. There'd have to be a 7 or a 9 on those. That would have to be here with a 6 or 8 here and a 4 here, 7, 8, 4, 1, 5, 3, 7, 8, 4, but that would leave 2, 6, 9 for this set, and they could not be connected with dots. So that is not right, so there is a 3 in this set. What I was basically working on was, what if there isn't a 3? And I've proved that there has to be a 3 in that set. So that makes this one a 9, and this a 3, which is of no use at all. But where's the 3? 3, 6, 7. If the 3 was there, 3, 6, 7, 2, 4, 8. Oh, that's very possible. How about if the 3 was there? I can't... S oh, hang on, look, there's a 2 and a 4 there, and one of those is here. So there must be a 2 or a 4 here. So 3, 6, 7 is not possible. So that can't be a 3. Interesting. So the 3 is on the dot with either 2 or 4. Whichever one it is will resolve what pair that is. Um, oh, but... So if it's 2, 3 in that order, or 4, if that's a 3, this is a 6, obviously. If it's a 2, this is a 4, because one's gone in the row. But if it's a 4, ah, that could be 2 or 8. So any even number there. Now, what does that leave here? Well, 7 has to go in here now. And that must therefore touch either 8 or 6. Ah, actually... Yes, I think if this is 2, 3, that's 4, 5, and that's using 2 and 4. If this is 3, 4, that's 1, 2, and that's using 2 and 4. So that is not 2 or 4. It is either 6 or 8. 7, somewhere in here, is going with the other of 6 or 8. And then the missing 2 or 4. Well, that's got to be 8 and 4 together. So 8 must come in the middle of 4 and 7. What a deduction. Sherlock would be proud of that. So we'll get rid of 4 there. 
this must be six now. And now we've got a two here. This is a four five pair. That makes this a two. One and nine there. That must be a five six pair. That's all that it can be in the box. That is one or nine and I can see a one above it. So we can get all that fixed. This is a one seven eight triple. Now, what can we scan up and resolve? Absolutely nothing. Classic. Right, one and two here. Where do... Where, where does one go in the middle box? That's quite interesting. If it was on this run of three, it would have to be at one end or the other, and that's impossible. And it now not in those because of that and it can't be there because of that. It must be here, and this must be a two. Uh, one and two must be in those. That can't be a one, because that would put two here. Do we know what these are? No, not at all. Oh. Ah, but this must have a dot to the two, so it could be three or four. That's all, I think. That widens the possibilities for this. Four, six, or eight? Actually, maybe not that far. No, or five. Four, five, six, or three. Okay, sorry, it doesn't limit those at all. Um, hmm, we still haven't resolved that. The five, six pair. What about this pair? No, we just know it's below seven. That's not a lot of help. Oh, that's a three now. Gosh, yes, that was resolved ages ago. Three there and two there. So that's not two. Um, oh, it doesn't get anything else done that I can see. That's a consecutive pair. Can't be four or five. Can't it be? Can't involve a three. And that's really not saying a lot. Okay, let's have a look at this run of three again then. Um, now, if it had a 3, the 3 would have to be here. 3, 4, 5, that's quite possible. Hmm, how do we make further progress? 9, 8, 7, oh! Four, eight, no, sorry, I'm not seeing anything brilliant yet. Let me just keep concentrating for a second. When you're cracking a crime, you do need to be very careful. Ah, two and two. Oh, this can't be two anymore. My God, that's very obvious because it needs a dot. So that's the six. Two is now here for the only place a two in Gollum 4 can be. That makes this three, definitely. Ah, now this is a naked pair, I believe. Nine, eight, seven, six in the row, one, two, three in the box. That's a four, five pair. That one's on a dot, so it's four with eight there, five there. Now we are cooking with the proverbial gas. Five over here. That must join to four with eight there. Six, seven, nine, triple here. Let's remove nine and six where we can. One, two, three, triple here. Um... That can't be two and that can't be three. Oh, that doesn't tell us any more than that, I don't think. Uh, right, that five though, and the four indeed, make those five, four. Now we've got to get a five in one of these and a four in one of those three as well. Ah, oh, no, can't be one, two, or th involve three, four, or five. Not any more useful than that, though. Um, oh, this can't be two, because this would be three, one, and they can't be connected with a dot. So that's not two. The two is here. Um, that doesn't help resolve the other two. Two, two. It does put a two there, though. That puts a one here, I think. 
Somehow I've isolated this as the only one cell. Yes, that can't be a one because of the dot. Yes, okay. So that fixes five and four. That sorts out three and one. This is now seven with six here. Um, oh, it's coming together nicely now. Right. What's that pair? Three, four. No, it can't be because there's threes looking at both cells. Can't have a five. So it's either it's from six, seven, eight, and nine. Now that means that eight and nine can't be involved in this run, nor one or two. So five definitely is, and it must be on one end or the other. Um, so it's either five. Well, it could run either way and be five, six, seven, or five, four, three virtually either way. Okay, but it does mean that's not a five. That's an eight. Now, does that tell me anything? Eight is in one of these two cells, which doesn't tell me anything. Five, four, two, one, three is in one of these two. Um, eight, four, seven, maybe I'm missing. Oh, yes, this has to relate to the four in some way. So it's not four or five now. Can't be six because that wouldn't have a dot with the four. So it's three or eight, can't be three. That is an eight. Uh, that's not an eight, that's an eight. And there's one, three, one, five, eight, two, four. So this is a six, seven pair with nine at the top, seven there. Three and nine here, that seems nice. Um, now, this run still, okay, it can't go up to six or seven. So it goes down, it's five, four, three. The three there tells us which way round. There we go, that's a seven. That's three and that's four. The three has sorted out the nine, three pair. We are closing in on a final grid and then we can identify the murderer. Three, six, five, seven, one, two, five, four, three, eight, and then that's nine because of the dot. Six there, seven and nine at the top. We are nearly done here. Six and five, four and seven, and now we just have to interpret the yellow morse. So this must go dot, 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 white dots all the way. Now I know that from SOS, that's an S. Uh, do obviously feel free to use the link below the video connecting to the Morse code list. Um, now this is dot dot. Now that was I here, so that must be I again. This is da dash dash. Is that M? I'm not sure. This is dash dash dash. Again from SOS, that's O. This is dash dot, same as up here, so that's N. And this is an M, dash dash is an M, so that spells Simon. I knew he would be the killer. Typical, typical activity. So there we go. Thank you very much to James Cop for sending in your crime scene, a splendid effort. Thank you to uh, Reverend Green earlier as well. And uh, good luck with the ARG, good luck with anything on Patreon. And we hope to bring you another one at least of these crime puzzles later, because they are fantastic. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.